Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. We are going to DIY some Christmas ornaments. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. But it's been a Christmas season for me already. We've been DIYing, and if you haven't seen all the DIY videos for Christmas ornaments, you should definitely check that out. Um, for this particular one, we're going to be using air dry clay. I picked this up. If you remember the haul, the Dollar General haul, that's where this came from. So you're going to need some air dry clay. I am going to be using some cookie cutters in the shapes that you like for your ornaments. Let me get this all set up and get you guys looking down at the surface and we'll go from there. Getting the packaging open was probably the hardest part so far. It is the hardest part. We're going to take just a small ball of clay and then we're going to get that rolled out. And to do that, you can use a rolling pin. I didn't have one, so I'm just using a cock tube. So that's what we're gonna use here. All right, so I tried one of the textured ones and it didn't turn out really well. So it looks like it's going to be these that are open-sided that are going to be the best. So all of these with patterns are not going to work. That's okay. I have some other cookie cutters. We're going to figure this out. I bought some at the Dollar Tree. But basically, we're going to roll out a size that is the equivalent size of your cookie cutter. And then you want to make sure that there's enough thickness there that it's an ornament. So I'm gonna lay that one down because this one's done. So this star is done. We're gonna let it dry. If we wanna put a little detail on it, we can do that with some tools, like a dotting tool. We can draw some tools, like some marks on it, stuff like that. But right now, I just wanna get this stuff rolled out and cut because the clay is gonna start drying and I don't want that. I don't want it to dry out. I got these cookie cutters at Dollar Tree. So this one's a package. This one is a gingerbread man. I thought having the texture would be better. Another star, a candy cane, a tree, and then a snowman. And these only cost $1.25. So this is quickly becoming a Dollar Tree Dollar General craft. <laughs> Want to have some thickness in there because even after it's dry, we want to make sure. Oh, look at that. That one fits him perfectly. Our gingerbread man. And I just put down freezer paper. I think I should have done parchment paper to keep it from sticking, but I didn't have any. Um, I would have loved to have had parchment paper because as you can see, lifting him up now, he's got a mangled head because he's sticky. I want to punch a hole in the top of these. So like on the star, I'm just going to stick a hole right in there because we need to be able to hang this star when it's dry. And after it's dry, we're not going to be able to get a hole through that. There we go. It's going to look weird in the head of the gingerbread man, but it is what it is. Okay, we are several days later and these are well, good, and dry. They are now, I don't know if you can hear it, hard. They are like a little ceramic. They, they feel like greenware. Like if you've ever done ceramics, that's what it feels like. Some of them have curled up a bit. You can see those right here, like this one's curled up a little bit. But I think if once you hang them on the tree, you're not really going to notice, right? So this is a fun project for kids because... Kids can do cookie cutters and we're going to paint these now, but 
I'm going to use probably chalk paint because I have more chalk paint than anything. You can use acrylic paints, whatever paint you have on hand. You could even use a latex paint is my guess. I have not tried a latex paint. I have not even tried a chalk paint on this, but that's what I'm going to use on here. Most of you probably have craft paints or acrylic paints and that's okay. I don't want you to think that you got to do it this way or it's not going to work. So we're just going to take these and we're going to sand them just a little bit. So there's some burrs. You can see on here, there's little raised pieces, a little raised edges. I just want to sand that down a little bit. Sands away really easy. I was sanding on a couple of them earlier just to test out my theory here. I have never worked with clay. This is my first air dry clay project. If I can do it, you kids can do it. Obviously, if you're going to be sanding, it's going to make a little bit of a mess. That's why I'm in the workshop and not in my dining room now. I want to keep my mess contained. Um, maybe don't let the kids do that part. I don't know. You don't even have to sand it. This is just me being way too perfectionist, I think. Because I'm clearly a perfectionist. <laughs> not if you've watched any of the rest of my channel. You've been here a while you're like sure you are Stacy uh-huh all right and then like see this one's got quite a few little divots on there from rolling it out I'm just gonna smooth that little tree out as well <gasps> I broke the head off my tree oh that was on me all right not this tree that I just finished sanding though I've got uh junk gypsies free range paint up our little ornaments, air dry clay ornaments. This is so much fun. This would be a great project for your kids or your grandkids. Or if you just want to make some special ornaments of your own. There are a lot more people out there who are more talented than I am as far as, you know, creating things like this or how they would finish and embellish these. So if that's you, more power to you. I love it. I'd love to see it. I don't feel like I'm in competition with you guys. So if you go, I took your idea and I ran with it and I made it so much better. I want to see it. Tag me on Instagram and Facebook. Whatever. Tag me wherever. Wherever you are, I'll be there. Just tag me. Peony Lane Designs on Instagram. So that I can see them. I'm perfectly fine being an inspiration and you guys taking off and making it really cool. Or if you do a project with your kids and it's just really silly and fun, I would love to see that too. Because I feel like this is a project that I wish I had worked on with Victoria when she was little. Now she's too old. Got ourselves a tree. <laughs> All right, we've got ourselves a tree. So there's our first one. Now I just need to paint everything else. They're done. They are done. And they're adorable. <laughs> So I got, I got some of this when I did the Michaels haul, some of the deco art, um, uh, metallics and my gosh, look how pretty that gold is. That star is adorable. And then I used, um, the Rust-Oleum metallics to do the gingerbread men. How cute are they? You can embellish that a little more if you wanted to, but I also did a star in that metallic. I also did one of the packages. Look how cute it is. And then I did the rust -Oleum metallic pearl on the top of this one. It's so cute. And then I used the pearl on the candy cane. And the metallics and the pearl on the Christmas tree. I was having so much fun. I felt like a kid again. Okay, that's so stupid. I got a couple more here. 
<laughs> they're less i i saved a few for victoria to do because i think this is just so much fun i just showed them to her and she goes oh can i have some for my tree i'm like yes you can have some for your tree she's popping in the shower but i left a few for her to paint too because i think you know she can customize them and make them her own i think this one's my favorite though i think i'm keeping that one it's so cute i am very happy with how these turned out um, I think this would be a fun project to do with kids. Uh, my advice, if you're going to do this with kids, is to roll out and cut these before they get to the painting part. Because you know they're going to want to get in there and start working right away and start painting and doing fun stuff. By the way, this is so good. This is so good. Um, really impressed with A, how it looks so close to what's on the jar because sometimes it dries and they don't look like that so i i wanted to try a new metallic and i'm really really happy with it but it's a water-based metallic isn't it it's water-based right yeah it's water-based so you could use this with your kids you know that's just you can use this with your kids and get the fun metallics this covered in one coat this was two coats. So this is one coat and this is two coats. But look at my stars. <laughs> I feel like the gingerbread man, I could maybe embellish them a little bit. But how cute are they? Like these would be really cute ornaments to do to give to grandparents or aunts and uncles. Like if my nephew had made me one of these, I would love it. I would love it. I would have. I would have. I, I, have, I have the ornaments he painted for me still on my tree. So these are great gifts. These are really fun gifts. I highly, highly recommend the air dry clay. Super simple. All you need to do is go to Dollar Tree, get the open cookie cutters. That's the key because the, the detailed cookie cutters, it was not coming out of there. So go, Dollar Tree, Dollar 25, you get a package of the Christmas cookie cutters. And then Dollar General, it was like four or five dollars for the air dry clay at Dollar General to get all of these. And then I just used the craft paints that I had. You don't have to go buy this. It's a good one. It's a really good metallic. I want to try some of their other metallics now, but um, use whatever paint you have. Let the kids have fun and paint these because, I mean, you can tell I did such a bang up job. <laughs> Kitty cane stripes, right? <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm ter this is, that's why this is my favorite because it turned out. <laughs> the simpler the better for me because I can't get the candy cane stripes right. But um, putting the little detail in these and then painting the detail was really fun too. So this had like the little indents on it and the little the um, garland indent on it. Do it. Just do it. That's all I'm going to say. So thanks for watching, everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.